Hey guys, Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to create a rotating slideshow header in your Squarespace 7.1 site. It's really easy, and we have a bit of simple copy and paste code to really elevate it even further. So let's jump right in. Okay, I'm in Squarespace 7.1, and I have this blank page here. And what we want to do is sort of create something like this. So this automatically rotating slideshow. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So there's a few different variations for the design that I'll show you. But this is kind of the idea of what we're wanting to achieve. Okay, so I'm going to jump on over to my 7.1 site. And I'm just starting with a blank page. And I'm going to click edit on the section. Then I'm going to add a section. So for this first slideshow section, we want to make sure that we're actually adding a gallery section. In Squarespace 7.1, there are three different types of sections. One is just a regular section. The second is what we call a list section. We're not going to worry about that today. The third is a gallery section. So when you click add a section, you're going to get this pop up that has a bunch of different layouts in it. But what we're going to be looking for is the gallery section. So if we come to this sidebar here and scroll, we're looking for something like images. It also might say gallery or photos. Sometimes Squarespace changes the language here, but we're looking for something that has to do with images. So instantly we can see we have these image sections now, which are technically gallery sections. And you can confirm that when you add it to the page and I'll show you in a second. So what we're going for today is like a slideshow style. So you could click any of these and edit it from there, but we might as well start with a version that's a bit closer to what we want. So I would choose this one. Now, when I click to select, we're instantly going to see that that section, when we are hovered over it, in the top right, it says edit gallery. So that means we've put in a correct gallery section. That's what we're looking for. If it says something like edit content or edit section, you've chosen the wrong content type and you won't have the same settings. So go back and add another section and try to find that gallery version. It's annoying that Squarespace doesn't really tell you what the section is while you're actually looking in this add a section panel. But once you know what you're looking for, it's pretty obvious and you can always try to add a few, see if you can find a gallery section and if you need to remove any of the sections, if they're wrong, just delete the ones that you don't need and leave the gallery section. Also, if you've got a different layout, it doesn't matter. We're going to program all of those settings together so we end up all having the same thing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the images we want to use. So you can do that by clicking Edit Gallery. And Squarespace will have put some placeholder content in here, which we can actually just delete. So I'm going to click on the trash icon and delete all of the things that I don't want. Then I'm going to click on this plus and I'm going to either upload images from my computer or I'm going to open my asset library, which is images that I've previously uploaded to the site and choose them from there. So I'm going to go ahead and choose some existing images I already have. There's a lot of random images in the site because I do a lot of <laughs> tutorials on it. Remember with your asset library too, you can select multiple images to add or you can choose from free images or premium images. So I have a couple selected and I'm going to click add. Just wait for those to upload and you can also rearrange them if you want to change the order of them. So from left to right, this is the order that they're going to be displaying. If you want to change that, you can click and drag. So now this one's going to be first, this one's going to be second and this one's going to be third. You can also add a link to each of these. So if you do want people to be able to click on the image and go somewhere else, they can also do that. So you would just click on the image you want to add a link to, come down to your link area, click on this cog icon, and you can either enter an email, web address, a file to download, a page from around your website. So you would just click and search for the page that you want to link or a phone number. Once you've added that in, click save, and you can see now that it's linked. I'm just gonna remove that because I don't want any links. And I'm done with uploading my images, so I'm gonna click close. So now you'll see we have this beautiful slideshow. And you'll also probably notice with mine, yours might be different, but mine actually has these little arrows. So this means that people can click and scroll through the photos, which is a really nice option if you didn't want it to be automatically changing through the photos. But I'm gonna show you how to do both. So if you click edit section, this is going to open up all of our gallery settings. And this is where we're going to control the design and how the slideshow actually functions. So you'll want to be on slideshow full. There is a lot of different gallery settings here that you can play around with. But for this tutorial, we're just doing the slideshow full. You can change between full bleed and just full. And you can see when it's set to full, it has 
a bit of a border around it. It doesn't quite reach the edges. So I'm going to go full bleed for this one. Now the height is going to control how high the entire section is. So how high the image is. If you choose large, it's going to span the entire viewport. So it doesn't matter how big your screen is. It's always going to span from the very top to the very bottom of your screen. Medium, I think, does about 75% and small does 50%, and you can also adjust it manually if you want. So this number here is actually based on a percentage. So if we go back to 100%, you'll see that it's going to fill up 100% of whatever screen size the person is looking on. So you can play around with that to adjust exactly how you want it. Below that, we get into controls. So this is the arrows I was talking about before. You can see I have one on the left and the right. But you can also change it to bullets, which are these little dots down the bottom. So people can click through those, which is quite cool. And you can also just remove them altogether if you don't want people to be able to navigate through. There is the option of captions here. So if I turn those on, you're going to see a little bit of text show up underneath your slideshow. And you can change whatever text that says by going back into your gallery and adding your caption here. So you can add some text here or a description of your image if you wanted to. And if you turn captions on, it's going to sit underneath the image. There's not many settings for this. You can't really change how this text looks or where it sits. You could with some custom CSS if you wanted to. So that feature is very basic. But if you just wanted to give some credit to the photographer or write a really simple note about the image, this is a good option. And if you want your images to automatically transition, turn on autoplay and then choose your slide duration. So if I change it down to one, you're gonna see these images moving really quickly. So I'm gonna change that up to three for now. And then you can also change the type of animation. So right now it's on site default. You could say no animation, which just means it's going to flick through the images as it was before. You could do fading. You could do horizontal panels, vertical panels, scale up, and scale down. So those are just really simple animations that you can choose to transition through your slideshow. You also have this option of a divider here too, but in these gallery sections, it doesn't work very well with these full width images. You can see that my image doesn't actually go all the way down to the bottom of the section now, and it doesn't look very good. So if you are gonna use a divider, I recommend just using something straight or simple, like a line. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't use it because the shapes don't really work with the gallery. Dividers are awesome for other sections, regular sections, list sections, but don't work very well with gallery sections yet. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's how you have a full width slideshow at the top of your page and a few different adjustments you can make to create it however you want it. Now, the final thing I'm gonna show you is some really easy copy and paste code to put the slideshow behind your site header. So let me just save what we've done and let me show you quickly what I mean by behind the site header. So on the homepage of this site, and this is just a test site where I do a lot of tutorials and play around. But you can see the background image here is actually sitting behind the header. So the navigation and the logo are sitting on top of the image. At this time, Squarespace doesn't have anything built in to achieve this look with this slideshow. If I put an image in this first section, it would go behind the header. But when we put a gallery in there, it doesn't. But it's actually really easy to achieve with some simple custom code. So I'm going to post this code in the blog post for this video, which I will link below this video. Or you can just copy it by what's on the screen. But you'll want to come into Design, Custom CSS. And I'm just going to paste in this code. And you can see instantly now our slideshow is sitting right behind our navigation. So what I put in here, this is just a title piece. So it says slideshow gallery behind header nav. And that's basically just to remind us what this piece of code is even for. And this is a really good practice when adding stuff in your custom CSS to add these little titles. And then underneath, we've got page section, gallery section, padding, top, zero pixels. So basically, we're just saying this gallery section has no padding at the top. And what that's done is it's removed the padding and now the section sits perfectly behind the nav. 
And you can see as well that it hasn't affected the height that we have set for our section. So if we set it to large, which is 100% of the screen size, you can see it's sitting perfectly now at 100%. And that also includes the navigation now rather than it being the navigation and then 100%. So it works really seamlessly and it's just a very simple piece of code. So I'll pop that in the blog post. Otherwise, just have a look, copy it in. You shouldn't have any problems using that and click save when you're done. And that is it for this tutorial on how to create this full width auto rotating slideshow on your Squarespace site and how to get it sitting nicely at the top of your page with your navigation. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out this one because you'll probably enjoy it too. Make sure to subscribe because we put out new tutorials every week. So I will see you in the next one.